Hey, here we are over at the Beast Kingdom booth. We're going to be taking a look at what they have on display. There's also another booth called Kodo that has some of their new and upcoming products, so we'll be checking out both, so just stay tuned. So taking a look at the case, we're going to see some uh, items that are show exclusives and some other items that are available for here, uh, sale at the Beast Kingdom booth. So this is the World of Disney, and then we have our Batman and the assortment of the mini versions of all the different versions of Batman that there have been over the years. Down here, I believe this is one of the show exclusives. This is the Rick and Morty. Um, but you can see the other more static Rick and Morty figures in the line. These are uh, special versions of the characters available at the con here. And down here, you have that great assortment of the... Um, I forget what the aliens are called, just the green aliens from Toy Story. But then you have other characters in the back. You got Ratatouille, you got Stitch, you got the characters from Up, and you also have Wally and Eevee. Taking a look at some of the other Disney items, we got Pinocchio, we have Chip and Dale here, we have Al from Al's Toy Barn at the top in the Toy Story line, you got Sauron, Star Guardian, you're going to have a whole assortment of other characters here from other Disney IPs, including Lilo and Stitch, the DuckTales characters, you got the um, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, depending around here you have your egg attacks, these are all already released. Um, the newest one would be that Darth Vader over there. Um, I believe that's the one that also comes with the Obi-Wan robe. But then you also have Grogu. These are all previous releases as well. More in the Disney line, you have those nice bust statues. You're going to have the Toy Story um, blind box figures. And then you're going to have the Tsum Tsum style, I want to call them, on the right there. Along with an assortment of other characters as well on their pedestals. These are all more of the static Disney characters. These are not uh, action figures or anything like that. And you can see how some of these dioramas form little displays here. Um, and then some of the larger characters. It's not really a vinyl. It looks like it's a flocked. The poo on the left, though, is a bank. You can have a couple from the Marvel collections. There's the Stan Lee line on the left. You see three of the versions there. You have an egg attack Steve Rogers over there with a shield and an early Captain America. That's the Groot over there, the display statue. And then you have that Build the Tower Stark and Spider-Man. These all come as... Um, not blind box, you can see the characters on them, but they build out those towers. Down below, you just have a couple more of the Disney pop scenes um, from various films, and then you get that great statue of the rabbit. What would Beast Kingdom be without something spinning? I mean, we have the latest version of the Millennium Falcon. This one's all chrome, as opposed to the other versions. You might have seen the Force Awakens version or the Empire Strikes Back version. Uh, and then you have the DeLorean from Back to the Future 2. Look at all those amazing details with the light up function and, you know, it's completely not connected. It's, it's uh, got batteries in it, but it's being, uh, the magnet is helping it spin here. Uh, but you can see all that great details from Mr. Fusion on top and it just looks amazing. And here is the rest of the Beast Kingdom stuff, the D stages. Um, these are over in the Kodo interest section. This is not in the Beast Kingdom booth, but wanted to show you some new and upcoming products. Some of these are launching at various points throughout this year. So you'll be able to see them right here for the first time um, in person, unless you've been at some of their shows overseas. Um, so very cool. That genie looks awesome uh, over here. And then we have, uh, this is the Dynamic Action Hero series in Beast Kingdom. So we have a very amazing Picard over here in his seat, along with a Leonard Nimoy Spock in the back there. And then we have a Don Corleone with his desk. Um, looking amazing. <laughs> and then we have a Gandalf the Grey that is available in the second quarter of next year. We'll try to get you some closer shots of all that detail on him there. And then over here we have all the Batman. So we have uh, various versions of Batman along with some of his classic villains. I love the penguins in there, different sizes too. You get a little bucket with them. You have that Oswald Copperpot. You have that 89 Batman right here. You have the Batman and Robin Batman that's available later this year, and I think he comes with the, the Bat Signal. And then you have a Joker with Batman right there. And then you have Batfleck with the, the Batman in the back. I'll try to get you some closer shots here. We're behind glass with a lot of glare and dust on it, so this is the best we're going to be able to do. And you got some of those... Um, Newer uh, Batman, uh, Christian Bale Batman, I'm sorry. And then you have a larger Keaton Batman statue here. I'll try to give you a full scope of how large this thing is. So that is all that is available uh, from Beast Kingdom. 
<laughs> you got some new, you got some upcoming products, you got some great sculpts. I mean, the very lifelike Jean-Luc Picard here, Patrick Stewart. I mean, amazing. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of great stuff to look forward to from Beast Kingdom. And we're going to end our Beast Kingdom look over here at Kodo that is showing off some of the great stuff from Beast Kingdom. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. A lot of that previous product over at the booth is available now for sale at the booth. Uh, the rest of the stuff is coming out soon. That's over here in the Kodo section. So feel free to check it out whenever you get a chance. And uh, if not, you just saw it here in, uh, in our video. So that is all for this time. Like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.